648, time for the morning rush. New video shows the scene that led to the arrest of the man accused of killing a New Mexico State Police officer. Authorities were searching for Jeremy Smith. This came after investigators say he killed State Police Officer Justin Hare. Video shows deputies chasing him over walls and through backyards. They eventually catch up to him and Smith was shot four times. Now, if convicted of federal charges, he could face the death penalty. We're learning more about what caused Bernalillo County Sheriff's deputies to shoot at a suspect. In February, deputies tried to stop 39 year old Lupe Vargas. But Vargas crashed his car into a pillar and then ran into an uptown hotel. Deputies located him. Shots were fired, but he was not hit. Vargas was eventually captured after deputies say he tried to steal a BCSO unit. New Mexico State Police say that they have arrested two people in connection to a stash house in Las Cruces. On March the 12th, a state police officer stopped 40 year old Albert Torres and his passenger 37 year old Victoria Cabrales. Officers say that they found what looked like meth on Torres as well as a stolen gun in the car. The pair told the officer that they had the food that they were taking to a stash house where state police found 16 illegal immigrants. Erica. And here's a look at our school day forecast. Low 40s today uh, in the morning commute, so you'll need jackets or layers. We'll be in the upper 70s, a warm and breezy afternoon. Crime and homelessness continue to be big concerns for Albuquerque residents. According to a recent city survey, more than half of the 400 respondents said they do not think APD is doing a good job at addressing violent crime and property crime. In response, the city released a statement saying in part, we are working to address the issues that are impacting people every day. Authorities are warning New Mexicans to keep an eye on their flocks after states, the state's Agri agriculture department found another case of bird flu at a poultry facility in eastern New Mexico. All the birds will be removed from that facility. Meanwhile, the NMDA says that Roosevelt County residents should take caution. The flu was first detected in New Mexico at a dairy farm in Curry County. Yesterday, state and federal officials presented plans for a new facility in Mora aimed at restoring areas damaged by the Hermit's Peak Calf Canyon fire. The center will have the capacity to produce 5 million seedlings per year. The center will include greenhouses, a seed bank, a su and support facilities from seed processing to shipping and office space. Erica. And here's a look at our threat index. It is low today, as we'll be seeing only gusty winds in the Northeast Highlands and around the mountains where there will be elevated fire danger. A new addition to APD is making it a little easier for officers to find guns and shell casings. Trained and owned by the ATF, Albuquerque police now have their first specialized gun sniffing dog named Freya. Freya started with the department in January and has already been called in to help find shell casings in several cases. After gaining fame wandering around northern New Mexico, a Mexican gray wolf is now the feature star in, children's, in a children's book. The author, Bernadette Maldonado, who's also an art teacher at Luna Community College, decided to use her creative skills and put those imaginary adventures down in a book called Why Asha Goes North. Maldonado hopes her book will change the perception people have on wolves. The threat of severe weather is sweeping across the central U.S. Now, yesterday, nearly a dozen suspected tornadoes were reported in at least four states. In Missouri, thousands are left in the dark after severe storms struck there. And in Kansas, the National Weather Service says that a twister with winds up, up to 100 miles per hour tossed a man from his trailer, leaving his wife and their two dogs stuck in the rubble. The line of severe storms is now moving east. Erica. And here's a look at traffic. The maps are clear. No accidents or slowdowns to report. Here's a live look over the Big Eye, where we're starting to see those typical slowdowns going east on I-40 toward the Big Eye. A dash cam in an Iowa deputy's patrol car captured intense lightning strikes early Tuesday morning. Deputy Martinez was on patrol near Sioux Center when he caught the lightning on camera, including a rare upward strike where the bolt starts at the ground and works its way back up to the parent cloud. Time now for the five facts. At number five, event officials are bringing back a fan favorite to celebrate the monumental 100th burning of Zizobra. On Monday, the Kiwanis Club of Santa Fe announced they will allow children to return as the role of Gloomies for the upcoming centennial burning of Old Man Gloom. Gloomies are children dressed in white tunics that parade around Zizobra in a choreographed dance. Auditions are slated for June 8th at Fort Marcy Park. And number four, authorities, they are warning New Mexicans to keep an eye on their flocks after the state's agriculture department found another case of bird flu. 
Experts detected the highly pathogenic avian influ influenza that was at a poultry facility in eastern New Mexico. The NMDA could not provide more specific details because of privacy concerns, but they say that Roosevelt County residents should take caution. All birds will be removed from the facility. State authorities say that those who raise poultry are asked to observe their flocks and look for avian flu symptoms. And number three, it's going to be a warmer day with temperatures climbing from the 40s back into the upper 70s. We'll be seeing sunshine and breezes of around 15 to 30 miles per hour. And number two, crime and homelessness continue to be a big concern. It's for Albuquerque residents, according to a recent survey released by the city. 400 residents took part in that survey in February. A major topic was crime. The results show more than half of the respondents say they, they do not think the APD is doing a good job at addressing violent and property crimes. In response to the survey, the city released a statement saying in part, quote, our priorities are in line with what families in Albuquerque want, and we are working to address the issues that are impacting people every day. At number one, new video shows the moments deputies arrest the man accused of killing a New Mexico State police officer. Video shows deputies chasing Jeremy Smith over walls and through backyards in southwest Albuquerque before eventually catching up to him. They say Smith then quickly threw a gun over a wall. That's when they opened <coughs> fire, hitting Smith four times. Deputies quickly started medical care to keep him alive. Smith is scheduled to be arraigned tomorrow on federal charges for the death of state police officer Justin Hare. If convicted, he could face the death penalty.